why I love it. Charlie, good on you, Charlie. Now, we know that some workers attempted to surf the internet on company time, but oh. does that give your employer the right to snoop on your online habits? Mm, staff at the ABC are reported to management if they stray too far off the information superhighway. Let's find out what our Wednesday panel thinks of that entertainer, Paul McDermott, and fresh from an online chat room, ABC Radio's James O'Loughlin. Good morning to you both. Now, Good morning. Now, now, James, what's yeah. going on here? Um... I don't really have a problem with it, really. I mean, if you go to, you know, it's sort of a... It, it's like the world's greatest distraction is available to everyone who has a computer. And it's probably no surprise that, you know, productivity has probably decreased since um, the internet arrived. And in our jobs at the ABC, you've got to look up the internet a lot. And, <laughs> I mean, I personally wish that at home, I do a lot of work at home, whenever I was sort of straying onto something irrelevant and interesting, <laughs> something popped up and said... <laughs> Get back on track, you idiot. You go, yeah, right, right. Because it's so easy, isn't it? Just yeah. to go, oh, right, oh, that sort of leads to there and that leads to there and suddenly you're looking up, you know, aliases of Bob Dylan or something. Like, How does that involve me? No, I don't I think it's, you know, it's okay to get a gentle reminder. Yeah. Oh, I think it's, it is hard on the internet. I think all roads lead to porn on the internet. And so... <laughs> So you, you find it, you always find your way, and I, I think it's important to have these pop-up little messages. Yeah, to, I think it'd be great if they, if if it, all through life, every aspect of life, little pop-up messages came up in front of you. Yeah. Know? yeah. Do you really need that notes. cream bun? Yeah. I live by them. I've got <laughs> exactly. them everywhere. But, that, but that'd be like having your mother with you the whole time, wouldn't it? Oh, by jingo, that'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 I, I, well, I, I for one think mothers are wonderful. <laughs> You know, wrong to so do I. Down. But, but also <laughs> silent. Just a little yeah. sign. Wouldn't that be great? It sort of pops out of your... Where would it pop out of? The pops fridge. out of your... Yeah, well, pops out of your little... Yeah. Maybe you could get an inbuilt computer on Projected your desk. Projected from your glasses, visually in front yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's the point of road rage anyway? And you go, oh, yeah, right. Why, why am I here? Yeah. Will it get you to work with it? No, it won't. Time, yeah. to, <laughs> time for confession. Yeah. Okay. All right. but, but should the bosses be monitoring um, internet usage, do you reckon? Is this what is happening at the ABC? Do you just get a little pop-up and say you've been on too long or do they say this site isn't appropriate? They say it, it's something like, um, you know, are you sure this site's really relevant? And, you know, I, I work in radio. Oh, Both hands on the desk. Well, I work in radio and we do stories on everything. So you can just sort of say, well, yeah, yeah I reckon it is. Um, I'm supposed to be well informed and the internet's a source of information. But they should, certainly should monitor whoever is monitoring the unmonitored. Because you've got the yeah. you've got the monitoring now, huh? the people that haven't been monitored in the past. So you're going to need uh, someone to monitor the people monitoring oh. the people that were unmonitored. Uh -huh. Yeah, who you know, monitors? Who the monitor? monitors the people, making sure that you're not going to the sites mm. that you shouldn't be going to. Mm. You need a committee for that. Yeah, yeah. glad to put that one up. We're talking about the ABC. Right. Let's talk about the age-old question of whether sports people should indulge in a bit of sex before the big game. Uh, the French rugby team apparently has a, a no sex policy in place. They reckon it's going to help them. And they've extended it. It was going to be no sex up mm. to the quarterfinals, mm. and then after the quarterfinals, it was on for young and old. Now they've extended it to past the semis. I think they're going to be quite a, quite an upset team by the time they take the field. <laughs> and I, I don't I don't think I'd fancy my chances against a, a lot of sex-hungry Frenchmen, <laughs> and it's certainly going to bring the the whole uh, run for your life um, concept into <laughs> the sharp contrast. I think it'll run for your wife at yeah. the end of it. Do you think it brings more passion to their scrum or their rucking? I, I wouldn't like to be a ball in there. I don't know. I, if I was in a scrum, oh. I wouldn't want there to be a lot of passion in it. I must oh, I'm, I'm just thinking. That's yeah, a, yeah. You'll get pretty close and you stick your uh, heads in la, 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 la. I mean, I think it's wonderful. Well, look, having been through periods in my life where I've been on sex bands, although not a, always from choice, um, oh, <laughs> I think it's wonderful that they have the choice. Do you think. want one of those pop-up reminders at this point saying, <laughs> don't go there? <laughs> Just well, it's, good to have, it's always good to have the choice. I don't, look, sex is annoying. It's like being on a food, it's one of the essentials of life, isn't it? It's like being on a food ban. I, I, I think, you know, if, because the thing is, they're not bringing their wives out. And I think if I was a month away from my partner and my kitty, I'd just get really grumpy and sulky and depressed and wouldn't play properly. Mm, <laughs> you know, I'd want them around to go, you know, have a good day at the game, darling. I'll yeah. think you and I'll go out. Pack your lunch. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then would you beat the, beat the hell out of the Poms on Saturday night because you are so frustrated and narky? Is that well, the I, secret plan? I think that, that is the goal, but maybe the Brits who are all loved out are just going to be so beautifully soft on the field that they'll... I'll come up with the goods. It, d you know? it depends how you react when you're sort of, 
when you're frustrated and narky, like some people get really aggro and yeah, yeah, and they play well, and some people just get sort of, you know, sulky and morose. And you know, you look for the French guy who's sitting in the corner, not very interested like that, and he's one of the people who it hasn't worked for. I mean, we are assuming at the moment that the wives and girlfriends are the only sort of sexual outlet for the French team. Um, the, um, Probably well, well, don't go well the, the, Bondi. their rooster mag um, mascot mm. has had to be sent to a chicken farm to, um, <laughs> he got to love relieve sick. himself. Yeah, he got love sick. <laughs> To you didn't have to add that <laughs> What is inside with the zipper stuck going, let me out, I'm not real, I'm a person really. We've got a big, big chicken here. I hope they're free range chickens as well that he's going for, not those cage ones, because that's a whole bondage sort of thing that he's getting into. It's getting into oh. freaky areas. All right, I'm going to uh, lift the level of conversation now up from where we are. Let's talk about our mild-mannered PM. He's been getting around London in a bit of a James Bond style jag on loan from Tony Blair. Now, what do you reckon it, what do you think he should have in it? Well, well, if you had to design the ultimate... But this one's bomb-proof and bulletproof glass yeah. and the whole thing. Isn't but, it? Uh, can eggs get through it? I mean, that's the real danger with our Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there's two things about this. Firstly, Tony, whoever designed it for Tony Blair made a slight mistake. They, they made it uh, impenetrable by rocket launches and by, um, and by grenades and poison gas, but it doesn't, doesn't actually protect him from bad press, which has been his main <laughs> threat over the last few months. And also, I think it's great for John Howard to have it because, let's face it, if he didn't have some big fancy car with, you know, shields and whatever uh, of it in England, no one would probably know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> little flag on the front. What would you put in it, though, for him? Oh, I think he's got to have uh, some of, uh, if it's a James Bond sort of car, then a couple of the, uh, the enemies of James Bond, I think, would be quite mm. good in there. Yeah. Mm. Blomfeld, Broomfield, or whatever his name is, and Jaws. Dr. No, yeah, George, mm. the whole bit. But I think yeah. it's more like, it's probably, it's probably... Uh, a very intelligent car as well. So I think it's probably less like James Bond and more like, say, David Hasselhoff and, and Kit. Oh, Kit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which should be dangerous. Yeah. I mean, with a, our yeah. Prime Minister having a car that's more intelligent than yourself. <laughs> that would be, be so irritating, having a talking car. Do you really want to turn left? Yes, I do. Yeah. Shut up. And do it. There's those pop ups again. Yeah. <laughs> They're good, those Jags. They're made by Ford, aren't they? Yeah, they are. The other day? They are. Mm. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for that. We'll catch Fun you next to week. Talk to you. Thank you. James thank O'Loughlin you. and Paul McDermott. Don't forget, Paul McDermott is back on Friday. Oh, you're going to sing again. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, we want you to do Where Is the Love one day so we know what it sounds like properly. Okay. <laughs> We're on. We should have had you in our lineup. A different version. Have a good day. Still to come, America's sweetheart Meg Ryan, like you have never seen her before. She's in the nude. Yes, she's certainly exposing a new side of her personality. Also coming up, find out how the honeymoon went. <laughs> hmm. A top selling, a young up and coming author who's got a bestseller about to be released Looks will be a joining bit like us. Him in the next half <laughs> hour. much prettier. But stay with us. A news hit from Nat. Also, we'll check the weather with Grant. You're watching Sunrise right across Australia. Stick with us. Yeah.